Grand Rise with my cancers. It's your girl one wing here. About to give you your reading for this week in love. So basically, my cancers is like this. Y'all been going through a lot of things, a lot of situations dealing with people that, you know, like if you was in a relationship with somebody, it probably, they've been doing you wrong for the longest. One thing about my cancers, I'm always giving y'all this smoking word because y'all do so much to hold on to family and family going to be the ones that's going to fuck y'all the most. Always remember that if you don't remember nothing else. Family is not based on blood. It's loyalty. Blood leaks the same way water do. With that being said, all this unjust that you've been given or been done to or inherited from the past couple of years, months, however long it's been going on. Your overall energy for this week, you got the death card, right? And so basically with the death card, if you were in a relationship, it's going to come to an end. And if you think back over the past, it probably was already coming to an end before you even realized it. If you're not in a relationship, just know that something always had to come to an end so you could bring, get a brand new beginning. With that being said, let's start. So, the first card we have is Temperance. Now, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but this is somebody from the past coming back. They want to reconcile. Maybe you've already talked to this person. Because this person see you as like a, a, a wish fulfilled for them. And you probably in that mode, like, I got to think about this shit. Because I'm like, Jesus, this ain't the one I had asked for, Lord. I don't I don't know about this. Y'all know how that go. Somebody could be pregnant. That could be a case also. But it's like, the person that the universe is trying to offer to you is not the person that you want. Like, Jesus. Then they go to Six of Cups. Listen, this 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 right here. Basically, you start turning your focus on yourself and start loving yourself. It's an unconditional self-love is the best love possible. But somebody from your past is coming back around, and they're coming back around real fast. And this person hurt you in the past. They could be a Virgo, Taurus, or either a Capricorn. You probably manifested this person, or either they manifested you. But it's like this right here. You've gone through so much with this person in the past, so many mental conflicts with this person. Because this person probably deliberately hurt your feelings or didn't care how they did you at that time. But they want to come back around, and they want to offer you some love. And they're coming with sincerity. It's really, become, it's, it's really sincere, but it's like... What happened was, my cancers, when you step into your element and start seeing through that bullshit, you say, you got me fucked up. I will not deal with this bullshit. I'm getting the fuck on. And you, I love you, motherfucker, but I love your ass enough to let your ass go, too. So they had that tower moment. They had that tower moment. That's what happened. And see, they had that tower moment. Let me tell you what had happened after that. They had that epiphany. Yeah, the high priest is still in. But it started seeing stuff. And then it started realizing, like, man, this is my queen, right? I can't let my queen go like this. They could have the initials of the letter J or the letter B. And you also have somebody that listen. At first, they want to come and try to give this half ass cup of love, but they got y'all messed up on mm -hmm. So we're going to finish this story on love. Because they can't come with no half ass cup of love. Who won't have it? You don't want no half ass from me. That be making me mad, too, y'all. Y'all know. I be in my feelings sometimes too much. I'll tell about my secret now. All right, here we go. Let's finish this little story on up for this week for my cancers. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, this person is like a wish fulfilled for you too. Mm -hmm. Maybe a Leo, they left you out in the cold. Yeah, you're cutting through the bullshit. You really is. And you was in your mold. That's what I'm talking about. High five queens, listen. You went from the Queen of Swords to the Queen of Pentacles. Not only are you seeing through that bullshit, but now you know how to balance this shit and sit back and cross your motherfucking legs because your crown is fixed. And like, that's it. That's all you got to say. Because you promised me this fucking 40 acres and a mule. Y'all get what I'm saying? Y'all know I'm going to ask. But like, look, I thought we had something special going on, but all I've been doing, it seemed like I've been going into competitions with these freaking peasants and can't no peasants stand close to me. So what I look like, keep dealing with this shit for whatever you got going on. Why you just want to tell the truth? Like, let it go. Somebody from your past trying to come back around. They gonna come back and tell y'all they was in a committed relationship. They probably had in their mind they probably wasn't together. That's probably why they said that. Could be a Scorpio. It could also be an Aries. Somebody could have a little white dog, Taurus, or either a Gemini. But it's like this right here. This person, see, this is like a soulmate connection. Um, 
Oh, it's so sweet. If they're not already married, they want to marry you, but they had a choice out of two people. And it, the situation came to an end, and it's like it took Leo Sagittarius age. It took somebody to walk away before they realized what it was. Because here you go, this Cancer, Scorpio, this Pisces. So you've seen this person as a wish fulfilled. Did you walk away from this person? Oh, no. You just got tired of going back and forth with the bullshit. Like I said, it could be a Leo that you're dealing with. But this person will left you out in the cold before or just leave you blank leave you on red don't even respond to you be like what the hell is going on so you all torn up mentally in the inside you don't know what the hell the lord is like jesus what i did lord i ain't even did nothing this time lord i was really good this time you say wait you son you did in the past <laughs> no but it's just past relationships that you're following the same trend is the same trade for but the only way that you will not repeat it is to not repeat it if they not coming back, giving you what you want or what you deserve, and guess what? Fix your crowns, queens, and kings. Again, we coming hard as I don't know what. It's the dawn of the regions. So here we come right now. Y'all better go tell them. Go tell them peasants that my um, homegirl Kia is fixing their crowns for them, y'all.